Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Listen, today, <clears throat> I want to start this video out by acknowledging a beautiful young lady. I have yet to meet her, but I have been ad an admirer of her work. And I watched one of her videos that inspired me to do this video. Her name, her, uh, the name on her page is Just Say No to Narcs. <clears throat> Thank you. I am an admirer of your work. Great work, y'all. Check her out if you're not checking her out already. Um, today, I want to talk about the super empath and the effect that the super empath is making on narcissism and the narcissist. So, the super empath, you know, there's a lot. Honestly, when you look at the super empath, the way it is described on different pages, you're going to get different um, analogies. And my, my two cents in this is that the super empath is the one on assignment. It's the one that the narc took for granted. It's the one that the narc really knew. The narc knew that they were dealing with the super empath, but they also knew that the super empath did not know who they were. And when that super empath finds out who he is or she is, it's all destruction for the narcissist after that. It's all destruction. It's all downhill for the narcissist after that. Because, see, the super empath truly is the one that knows how to destroy the narcissist. And we're giving you, we're giving you guys the tools. See, there was a time where the narcissist had just been in this world wreaking havoc and just destroying families, destroying people at will, you know. And now that we have put so much exposure on this narcissist, on how weak they truly are, they are bullies, people, they are weak. And I'm going to tell y'all something that actually... I, my plan is to just continue to empowering you. But today I want to give you the narcissist's biggest, biggest, deepest secret. And that secret is that the narcissist is actually addicted to you. You spend a lot of time trying to figure out, trying to understand what is the method to their madness? Why are they doing what they do? Everything that you're trying to apply logic, but you're applying it the wrong way. That's all it is. You're applying it in a way. That, and, and, and actually, I have to do a little more research on what I'm about to tell y'all myself because it's something that is... Or something that happens to all of us. We all can see when somebody else is going through something. We're able to give the best advice on what somebody else is going through. But yet when it's happening to us, we just don't see it the same way. Sometimes. Now, there are those of us who do know. When certain things are happening to us, happening to us, and we're able to identify it immediately. But you have to have gone through it and you have to be alert in order to be able to be keen with your senses like that. But people, the narcissist is addicted to you. The, the narcissist is addicted. Listen, you are are their favorite meal. You are the drug of the narcissist. 
And that's what you don't understand about the narcissist. Because you're like, okay, well, why, the, why do they mistreat me so? Why do they do this? Why do they do that? If they need me, why do they leave me? Why do they discard me? Why do they this? It's all a part of their act. It's all a part of their game. The narcissist actually never truly abandons you. They might put you on the shelf for a while, but they aren't gone anywhere. No, nah, no. Nah. Especially y'all that, especially the people that will accept them back. If you still have, if you still, if they can still call your phone and they're not blocked on your phone, then you're just on the shelf. That's all. You're just on the shelf for them. They, they'll be back. Because a narcissist, remember, every relationship with them, then they are only there to deplete that source of all of their energy, destroy them, leave them hanging, put them back on the shelf until they have some more energy. That's all they did with you. That's all. After they have depleted you of energy, they just keep it moving. They don't just move on. Now, see, with a super empath, a super empath is somebody who has so much energy that it's, that really is more like they, they're not considered a life long energy supply, but they can be as long as the, the super empath never figures out who they are. Because once that super empath realizes who they are, they realize that they have all of the power over the narcissist. The narcissist really has no power. And the super empath will expose that narcissist, which again gives that gives a, a, a injury to the narcissist. Right now, people, narcissists are watching my videos. I know I've seen a few watching them. They watch, they're watching everything that we do. And they're watching it because they're watching the growth. They're watching for the exposure. What are you telling people that we're going, that we're not going to be able to do? So they watch these videos. Trust and believe narcissists are watching. They want to know what they can still get away with. That's why it's become so difficult. And, and I'm saying they're still doing it, but it's become a lot more difficult for narcissists to get away with the, the, the craziness that they've been getting away with because now you have super empaths out here coaching and exposing them to the world. Now people can, you know, it's not just that same insanity that you can't understand. You can't fix it. You got to go to a doctor and you want to kill yourself and all of it. No. No, no more. No, we're going to continue to empower everyone. The narcissist, man, y'all, your life, you don't have a long, a, a bright future in this universe. As a matter of fact, your future is very, very, very grim because every day, man, we're going to continue to spit fire right on you. People, I, you know, I, I try not to get into, uh, I try not to get into a realm of religion and faith and belief because I know there are so many different people in different faiths and different religions that follow my videos and other people's videos. So, uh, but for me, I try to stay away from that, you know, because I want to give it to you just just, you know, straight from me. And, you know, I want to share my knowledge with you. Today, I'm going to give you just a little bit. <laughs> you know, it's funny because a narcissist, when you think about it, in any faith or belief, belief system, the narcissist is going to be the equivalent of a devil. It's a devil in person. 
The narcissist is the devil. It's right here with us. And anybody who's dealt with one can, can definitely testify to that. You're dealing with a, you're straight dealing with the devil. And not knowing it because we we look at it, we look at, you know, evil and religion and we look at that stuff as more on a spiritual level. We don't look at it and see it in a physical level. But you're, we're dealing with these devils in the physical. They're right here dealing with us every day, bringing us the worst pain. See, you have to give them that, the credit of being a devil because... Everything they do is for destruction and wickedness. They are all wicked. All of them, and they all have the same track record. They do. All of them have the same exact track record. They Every sin that the devil can do, they do. That is the closest thing that you're going to have in this life. That's going to show you and shed light on a devil. And that is a narcissist. Because they are pure, pure evil. They are pure evil. And they don't, and it doesn't, it, you, if you, when you think about it, they don't really concern themselves with karma. They don't really seem to be concerned about receiving that ill behavior right back. They don't have a care. Now, who besides a devil would feel that way? People. A super empath. <laughs> right now, there are people watching my channel. There are people listening to my voice. There are people on the same vibration that I am on that can hear what I'm saying that are watching these videos and I want to let you know that you are one of you some of you are the next ones in line you are the next ones in line that are going to be helping people out out of this craziness people you are you are going to be the one that stands up and continues to push this movement forward, continues to expose these devils for who they are, for everybody, for everybody to see. And like I said, I'm not trying to go on a, a, a religious sabbatical on y'all. I'm just trying to keep it 100. I'm just trying to keep it real with you. You know, these are some sorry, no good I mean, have you ever seen a sack of shit and really seen what it looks like and smell like? The only thing that you could give or say that is equal to that is a narcissist, man. It is no good in those people. None. They are users. They are abusers. Destroy People who destroy families, relationships, their children, their parents, they are destroyers. And that is all they are here for. And I'm not giving them any breaks. I'm not giving them any breaks. I'm going to continue to use my voice, my channel to uplift, to help the people who have been tormented with this devil. Because it is truly a devil. I don't have anything good to say about those people. Anything. I don't feel like we, we, we're we of the same species. I don't. Because those people are strictly here to deliver pain. And that's it. Confusion. Anybody who's watching the videos, every, look in the comments. When you look in the comments, everybody commenting is saying the same thing. Then they don't have nice things to say about these people. These people who are people who wake up every day. How much more grief they're going to bring somebody. How much dissatisfaction 
How much lying, how much cheating, how much stealing they're going to do every day. If you got to wake up with one in the bed with you every day, man, you starting your day out trying to figure out, oh, my gosh, you know, how's today going to be? What are they going to start today? Every night, same thing. You're looking over your shoulder like you, you know, like you into illegal, illegal activity or something. You know, these people are no good. None. But the super empath, the super empath is here. And the super empath actually has an assignment. See, the super empath really, I've, I've heard that some people call the super empath a narcissist as well. Because people, a super empath is someone who is going to stand up for justice, for what's fair and what's right. The super empath will do to the narcissist exactly what the narcissist has done to them and push it down their throat even harder. That's right. You lie to a super empath, a, a, new, a super empath is the one that will mirror the narcissist right back. Give them all of that stuff that he did to you or that she did to you. Yeah. Yeah. Give it right back to them. They'll give it right back to them. So, yeah, it may appear that, hmm, that's narcissistic. No, the difference is, is that the super empath will only do that to the narcissist. A narcissist does it to everybody. That is their distinctive difference. The super empath, see, because the super empath knows the narcissist is weak. The, the narcissist is weak and spineless. And the, and the super empath is the one that's taking the assignment to show the narcissist that you're weak. That you're sorry. That you're no good. That you're dirty. The super empath is the one that's going to show you that, yeah, I can do exactly the same things you've done to us. We can show you exactly how we can do it to you and do it on the same, do it on a higher level. Absolutely, because we know that the bully cannot, they can only dish it, they can't take it. Anybody who else, who's ever dealt with a narcissist, they, they already know. The narcissist cannot take what they give. They cannot take it. It literally, damn it, stop them blood from moving through their body. When they start to receive the exact same punishment that they have been distributing. That's right. That is right. The super empath is here to check you, to check your chin. And then when the super empath has risen. When they have woken up, when they've realized who they are. That's when your ass is out. That's when the gloves come off. You're going to be stripped and dragged. You're no more sitting and hiding behind the curtain, you know, like the Wiz on the Wizard of Oz. No more hiding behind the curtain. The super empath is going to strip you for the world. The same way we're stripping y'all every day. We're going to strip you and drag you. We're going to continue to expose you. And you're going to keep getting exposed because you're sorry and you're weak. And you're dirty. And we know that your biggest weakness is exposure. And I'm going to keep pouring acid on you every chance I get. Every day you're going to eat it. I'm going to give I'm going to empower everybody that can hear my voice because y'all don't deserve to breathe the same air. You don't deserve to breathe the same air that we breathe. You should you don't even deserve to, to live on the same planet. You don't get the you don't deserve to be in the same universe. You dirty. And we don't want your kind. We don't want your kind. Y'all done came out here in just droves and torturing. Destroying people. Just bullies. Just weak ass bullies. 
Oh my goodness, man. Yeah, so again, people, I'm gonna continue to just empower you guys. Just stay close. Just stay close. Stay close. You're dealing with a weak, jelly back, sorry, no good, trifling dog. It's not even worthy to be with you. And you crying. You crying tears like, I, but you, I think I love him and they doing this. Man, you dealing with garbage. You're dealing with trash, man. You're dealing with some straight trash. A narcissist is trash and they don't deserve the credit that you're giving them. They don't deserve the credit that you're giving them. They're not on your level. They're not on your level. They come in here, they have an assignment, an assignment of destruction. That's it. They came here to destroy. They're not builders of anything. They're destroyers, destroyers of people. And guess what? The super empath is here to destroy you. To expose you. You're nothing. You're weak. You're trifling. People, listen. They're weak. And they're weak for you. They just know how to run game. That's all it is. They know how to run game. And the game is to make you think that they are the special one. They are not. They didn't pick you because they're special. They picked you because you're special. Okay? They didn't pick. You didn't pick them. You might think you did. They picked you. The narc picked you. If you're with a narc, the narc picked you. You did not pick them. And they picked you because they see your light. They see your light. And they see that you are a soft target. You were easy because you want to help people. You want to be a loving, helping person. That's why they picked you. Because they think stuff like that is weak. They're just going to sit there and ride your, ride your coattails and just take all of the supply that they can get out of you. You, to, to, to a narcissist, you are the fountain of youth. You're the reason that they walking around and get to look a little, young, little younger, a little better. You're like a fountain of youth for them. You are. Because they are nothing but blood suckers. They mirrored you, but when you mirrored them, whoo, people, that's where the saying came from. The one that dishes it can't take it. Take it from one who knows they cannot take it. They cannot take it. So when you start to mirroring, mirroring the narcissist, trust me, you will never see him again. They may hoover later, but it's going to be a lot later. And really, they probably won't even be up for that anymore with you because they know once you have been exposed to the truth about them and the truth about who you are and the and truly your position you'll understand who has the power because you have the power the narcissist does not it's only a misconception if you were depleted of energy it's just like a blood worm you know like you jump into a lake that has blood worms you know they attach themselves to your skin they're going to stay on you until you have no more blood. When they, you don't have any blood, they jumping off. They got to jump on something that's giving them blood. That's a narcissist. They're only there to suck all the blood out of you they can. The supply, your energy. Once they have depleted you of that, they're out. They're running to the next copious supply. People, they are weak. They are weak. And I'm, and I'm going to keep on saying it until y'all get it. They are weak. You are the one that is being sought after, not them. 
I know they may have left you in some pain. I get that. The only pain that the narcissist can actually deliver to you is the pain of you not listening to your better self. You not listening to that intuition. I'm never going to stop telling, leading you back to you. Remember your intuition. It cannot lie to you, people. It cannot. The only thing that's the only source that cannot lie to you. Your intuition. If you're listening to my video, then that means that you are either on my vibration or you are fighting my vibration. But your intuition. It's right every time, every time your intuition. OK, that's my video. First of all, I want to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. This community, it is strong. We are tearing the draws off of these weak narcissists, man. They, are, man, we going to keep on stoning them and stripping them and dragging them. That's right. Shout out to, I got a call from a young lady from Germany just yesterday. I want to shout out all of my family all around the world. You know, hey, I appreciate you guys. And we're going to keep on exposing them. We're going to keep on doing this because this is what we do. But you have to help somebody else, too, because that's what this is all about. Hey, let's talk. Let's talk about it in the comments and like, share, comment on the videos. Yes, I'm still doing the sessions for. All of my people, okay? All of my new people, I'm going to give you one good session. All right? Thanks.